Good day everyone. Um, you might hear kids playing in the background. There's a whole group of kids playing soccer behind me. So yes, uh, it's wonderful to hear uh, children's voices, especially when they're young and having fun. This update that I'm giving you now is on Debbie Els, who is not a young child anymore. Uh, Debbie is older than me and um, she has found out recently uh, when the scans were taken of her back that there is a large uh, dark area in her one lung that falls almost half a lung and um, the doctor suspect uh, that the cancer in her lung has spread to her spine and this is why two of the vertebra broke so easily when she was pushed to the ground with a shield and then hit on her back with the batons. Now um, this is really a terrible situation that Debbie finds herself in and my heart goes out to her. There's many people that have jumped in at the stage to help. There's someone that has come down to stay with her for a period of time but that is not infinite. Uh, just to help Debbie at the moment she needs a wheelchair and many other things and we'll try and organize and raise whatever it is that we need to help and support her during this time there were also blood tests done she will get the results uh, i believe on monday next week where they will know whether the, uh, the cancer is spread to her blood or not and then a, a biopsy will be done to get more detail and um, i will keep you updated with regards to that i believe debbie went live last night uh, to tell her followers and I just uh, want to let you know, many of you have asked me how Debbie is doing and I wanted to dedicate this video to her. I just want you to understand that Debbie is not an organization, she's an individual. She has nothing, she has very little, she has done everything she's done for the people of the country. She believes in freedom, uh, freedom for people to choice, so she believes in liberty and she wants our government's uh, political system to change she believes in the direct elections concept and um, through everything that she has experienced she has been a fighter at the forefront actively being there often where men dare not trod and I have seen Debbie in action with my own eyes and uh, say as an Easter you know Debbie is made of steel and um, very few things can get her down she has decided that she will not take any um, any radiation treatment uh, or anything like that. That she will try and do anything natural that can help and assist her. And we've been in contact with people that will hopefully be able to help her. It'll, uh, she will have to change her lifestyle drastically now and uh, you, you need to support her in that. So please just consider that at this stage, Debbie needs your help, where she's been uh, unselfishly helping people uh, for the past uh, three years. And I've known Debbie now for two years that she now needs rest. She needs to rest and she, she wants to continue with the fight. Uh, she'll probably still speak to people. I can't see her stopping doing that, you know. Um, but we will see what advice she is given to try and fight this. And um, she's a strong person, her mind is strong, and I believe that she will do everything to overcome what she's facing right now. However, it's important that we don't add to her burden. Don't contact her on a phone or emails or anything like that unnecessarily. Uh, Debbie will keep you up to date, uh, the people that have been with her over the years and I will do the same. So I really want to thank everyone that have made small contributions towards her funds. Um, we are trying to start a backup buddy fund to help Debbie specifically with regards to a situation that she finds herself in right now. And I can tell you that she has never used any single funds for herself. <laughs> that's not, that's just not Debbie. And I can testify to that, that, um, she will literally give away the clothes on her body to, to clothe somebody. This is what Debbie is like. And uh, she was probably born that way. So I really want to uh, pay tribute to Debbie at this time for all the work that she has done um, 
for us and the efforts that she's done as an individual and I want to pay tribute to all the people that have supported her and helped her over the years there's many people that have helped her without pay or favor or anything like that I want to thank all of you and I want to thank all the people that are continuously helping in this fight right now that we're fighting on the ground to change our governance system and I would love for Debbie to see that in her lifetime so people let's put a concerted effort in firstly to help Debbie and um, to continue her fight and then to make her dreams come true a free future for the children of South Africa thank you very much for watching this video please keep Debbie in your prayers and your thoughts till the next video